This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Yo, what is going on, my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. Today, we're going to be covering a dev blog by Mod Jack regarding the mining and smithing rework. So, hopefully, we get some pretty interesting information. Without any further ado, let's just jump right into what it says. On the 4th of September, we're planning to put out a poll to decide what we do with mining and smithing. We can't squeeze too much detail into a poll, so here's a dev blog to explain what's going on. High level mining and smithing update. We are at a crossroads with mining and smithing. Delivering the full rework will take so long and involve so much development time that it'll put a serious dent in what else we're able to produce. If one update is a large quest, mini game, or skill update, we're talking four to six updates worth of dev time. It's been clear from expansions that such a lack of updates would only be sorely felt. Most of that four to six updates worth of time isn't actually spent improving the mining and smithing skills. Some of the time is spent on that, but the majority is spent tidying up everything that it breaks. Fixing slayer drops, rebalancing artisan's workshop, that sort of thing. We would like to propose a different plan. Rather than changing things in one go, in a way that requires all the above fixes, we will take all the new rewards, mechanics, ores, and so on from the rework, largely benefiting mid to high level players, separate them out, and release them earlier. This new content includes new tiers of ore and gear for level 70 plus, useful high level armor, and a smithing overload like item, a powerful unlock that is a reason to train the skill. We would place this this new content within a specific area, such as a reworked mining guild, artisan's workshop, or an extra floor in the Living Rock Cavern. This will create an isolated but complete economy for the top end of mining and smithing, to address the core problems with the skills, that there are very few good reasons to train them or make anything with them. Until you reach the newly added tiers of metal, the mining and smithing skills will look exactly like they do now. The new tiers will overlap the old tiers. Since Runite will still be a high tier ore, for example, we estimate this update to bring 80% of the benefit of the rework at about 25% of the cost. All that said, we'll continue to make sure whatever we make is an open design created with plenty of players' feedback as we've done so far. So what's not included? Chiefly, the shuffling and rebalancing of the metal tiers. This is something that is important to the long-term health of the game, but it's what produced the huge majority of the time spent on the rework. We also wouldn't be making any changes to drop tables, old content, etc. There also won't be any new content for low levels, and XP rates will not increase, but neither of these would be included in a full rework regardless. So taking it to the polls. So that's what we're going to poll next week. We want to get the question right. So here's the intended text of the poll. Let us know if you think it's clear enough and whether you think it's too biased in favor of either answer. We will aim to change the poll based on your feedback before it opens for voting. Should we develop a high level mining and smithing update that brings all the 70 plus benefits of the rework sooner, but delays the tidying up of old content? We will include a link to this dev blog. Yes or no? The poll will use a simple 50% threshold. This is because we're asking you to choose between two alternatives for an update. The higher threshold is appropriate when we're asking you to choose whether to add slash change something or do nothing. In this case, either option means a change to the game. So we want to know what the majority wants. What will the outcome mean? We want to be open about what a yes and no vote will mean. If yes, we'll begin to work as soon as we can on the high level mining and smithing update. The rest of the rework, like fixing the tiers, is still important to us, but it will be prioritized as what it is. A very expensive update that has a significant impact only on low level players. We already have many high priority projects for low level players, including the early game experience and how new players come into the game from mobile. If no wins, the feedback tells us you want a full rework, and we will prioritize it accordingly, but it will be put back on our release schedule and assigned for development in the future. As noted earlier, this will mean less of other updates. It is very likely that if no wins, the full rework will come a bit sooner, but the high level benefits will come much later. So that is it for the dev blog. I'll have a link down in the description below so you can check it out yourself if you want to give your feedback on anything involved in what we talked about today. And that is it for the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. I am out. Peace.